It's an arithmetic progression question. Appeared as a four mark question in 2017 CBSE 10th standard board paper. Let's quickly read the question and solve it. If the ratio of the sum of the first n terms of two arithmetic progressions is 7n plus 1 is to 4n plus 27. This is the ratio of the sum of the first n terms of both these progressions. What we need to find out is the ratio of their ninth term. What we'll do is let's assign some variables, quickly recall some core formulae and then solve this question. The first of the variables I'm going to assign is the first term and the common difference, the defining parameter for the first of the arithmetic, first arithmetic progression. For the first AP, let the first term be A1 and let its common difference be D1. For the second AP, let the first term be B1 and let its common difference be D2. What is the formula to find out the sum of the first n terms? It is n by 2 into 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula to compute the sum up to first n terms. So for the first AP, that's going to be n by 2 into 2a1, which is its first term, plus n minus 1 into d1, which is a common difference of the first arithmetic progression. For the second AP, the same thing would be n by 2 into 2b1 plus n minus 1 into d2. What is this? This is the ratio of the sum of the first n terms. The sum of the first n terms is basically these two terms. So this ratio is equal to 7n plus 1 is to 4n plus 27. Let's write that down in the next slide. This ratio of the first n terms of these two arithmetic a pieces, 7n plus 1 is to 4n plus 27. We wrote the formula as follows n by 2 into 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 divided by n by 2 into 2b1 plus n minus 1 into d2. This is the ratio of the sum from the formula. This is the ratio as given in the question. Cancel the n by 2 in both these terms. So it simplifies as 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 divided by 2b1 plus n minus 1 into d2 is equal to 7n plus 1 by 4n plus 27. Let's call this equation 1. Let's hold this at this point. Let's come back to it in a couple of minutes. Let's move on to the second part where what do we have to find out? We need to find out the ratio of the ninth term of these two sequence. How do you compute the nth term? The formula for the nth term a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d. So we need to find out the ratio of the ninth term. So we're going to be plugging in n as 9 in this formula. We'll compute a9 is to b9. Whether we compute a9 is to b9 or we compute 2 times a9 is to 2 times b9, it will be 1 and the same. So let's find out what is 2 a9. 2 a9 is 2 times of a1 plus n minus 1 is an 8 here because n is 9. 8 d1 that translates to 2 a1 plus 16 d1. So 2 a9 is 2 a1 plus 16 d1. Along the same lines 2 b9 will be 2 b1 plus 16 times d2. This ratio is what we are trying to find out. So a9 is to b9 is the same as 2 a9 is to 2 b9 which written in a fractional form will become 2a1 plus 16d1 divided by 2b1 plus 16d2. Let's call this as equation 2. Let's compare these two fractions from equations 1 and 2. This is equation 1 for us. This is equation 2 for us. Pause the video, take a good look at this equation and then play it again. We'll discuss it as we proceed. Let's compare these two parts. 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 in the numerator to 2a1 plus 16d1. So 2a1, 2a1 is the same. n minus 1 in the numerator seems to be a 16 in this case. Let's look at the denominator. 2b1 plus n minus 1 into d2. The denominator here is 2b1 plus 16 d2. If you compare these two, 2b1 is the same. n minus 1 is the same 16. So if we compare these two equations, we can deduce that n minus 1 is equal to 16 or n is equal to 17. So in this equation, we have realized that n is equal to 17. If we had a generalized 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 divided by 2b1 plus n minus 1 into d2, then that ratio according to the question is 7n plus 1 divided by 4n plus 27. We have deduced n to be a 17. So let's plug that in to find this ratio. So the ratio of a9 is to b9 is nothing but 7 times instead of n, we'll write it as 17 plus 1 divided by 4 times 17 plus 27. 7 into 17 is 119 plus 1 which is 120 divided by 4 into 17 68 plus 27 which is equal to 95. So a9 by b9 is 120 by 95. Both these terms can be cancelled with a 5. So divide both the numerator and denominator by a 5. So you'll get 120 by 5 which is a 24. 